Try to gather all your attention right here, right at the breath. Watch the breath coming in, watch it going out. The mind can choose its object, so choose one. Get to know it really well. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. And the beginning of no peace is when the mind is running around to all kinds of objects. Doesn't know where to land, doesn't know where to stay, can't stay with anything very long. So there's no firm basis inside. So give the mind a firm foundation. Stay right here with the breath. And as for any other thoughts that come through, just let them go through. You don't have to latch on to them. You don't have to straighten them out. Just let them go. Let them go. Give the mind some peace. Because we all want peace in the world. But where is peace going to begin? It's got to begin right here, right in our own minds. Because if the mind is in a peace, then no matter how quiet you may be outside, still there's going to be rumbling around inside, and then it's going to explode. So you've got to turn around and look at the mind. What is it in the mind that makes it unpeaceful? So watch it very carefully. You have to be a little bit suspicious, even of your own mind, because it can fool you in all kinds of ways. But you'll find that deep down inside, the mind wants happiness. So trust that desire for true happiness, and realize that it means being peaceful. And anything else that comes up that disturbs the peace, you have to look into it and say, why would I want to go with that? Question it. And then you can let it go. But for the time being, just let everything else go up at the breath. The mind needs a good, firm foundation if it's going to look into itself and sort things off, sort things out rightly. So give it time to be right here with the breath. You don't have no other responsibilities right now, nothing else you have to take care of, nothing else you have to do. Let the mind be its own self for a while. It doesn't have to pick up objects from outside or moods from inside. You can just let them go, let them go. This way it gets some rest. When the mind is rested, then it's got a lot more strength. And what has more strength than the issues that come up in the mind that really are worth dealing with are things that you really do have to do. Okay, you can do them a lot more effect effectively. If the mind doesn't get a chance to rest, okay, then it's just like a, a truck driver who's been driving for 72 hours. I mean, even though you may get a little sleep, still the, it doesn't really give the mind the kind of rest it needs where it's alert at the same time. So give the mind a place to stay. Let it stay here. It doesn't have to move. And as for any other impulses that come out right now, just let them go, let them go. You've got to be firm in your determination. If we really do want happiness, you have to be firm in your determination to find a happiness that's true. And that starts out by getting the mind in a position where it can be firm as well.